Hello, welcome to the Cisco Show and Share mobile video series. My name is Helen Lin, and I am a technical marketing engineer in DMSBU. In this four part video installment, we will discuss the mobile application, which is an extension of Cisco's Show and Share offering and is meant to provide the user with a flexible and pervasive usage experience. In this video series, we will cover four topics. This first video will give you an introduction to the Cisco Show and Share mobile application. The second video in this four-part installment will show you how to set up the mobile application. The third video will show you how to use the mobile application and navigate around it. And lastly, the fourth video will show you how to record and publish videos using the app. In this first video, let's talk about the new Cisco Show and Share mobile application. Previously, Show and Share was a desktop solution where users can access a central repository of videos. New in version 5.3, Users can now take Show and Share on the go with them using a native app supported on Apple iOS devices. This includes the iPod Touch third generation and above, the iPad first and second gen, iPhone 3GS 4 and 4S running on Apple iOS 4 and 5. The goal is to allow users to have the flexibility in using Show and Share whenever, wherever, and have a similar experience both via the desktop portal and on their mobile device. To achieve this, you will need DMS version 5.3 with the Media Experience Engine 3500 to transcode videos of all types into a playable format for the mobile device. Now, with that set up, a user can now utilize the mobile app to browse and search for content on Show and Share. So for example, I've previously recorded a video that I thought was interesting and wanted to share with my peers. I can go into the mobile app and find the video that I'm interested in and click on it to play it. And from here, the video will play. I can do a couple things, such as pausing the video. I can also fast forward through the video. And I can even zoom in on the video if I want to enlarge it. Once I am done watching the video, I can go back into the video interface and interact it with a, in a couple of ways. From here, I can click on the Rate and Comment button right here. And I can provide my comments and provide the number of stars that I think this video should have. Once I am done, interacting with it this way, I can also add it as a favorite video, or I can click on the share button and automatically compose an email to share with my peers with the two links in terms of how to access this video. I can type in their username right here, and now the user will automatically receive an e email in their inbox with these two links to access it both on their desktop and on their mobile device. Thank you for watching this introduction to the Cisco Show and Share mobile app. I encourage you to watch the other three videos in this four-part installment to learn more about how to set up the app, navigate around it, and how to use it to record and publish content onto Show and Share. And where else would you rather view them but on Show and Share by following the link below. Thank you.